What's going on guys? So today is going to be a video based on uh, creating your own custom decals in Rocket League, which I recently have learned how to do, so I thought I'd just share what, I, what I've done and uh, if anyone's interested in learning, then uh, there's some other videos out there as well that'll help you, but this one will just add to the collection of uh, knowledge. So you might notice my decal is pretty wacky. So I call this one the star car. Um, it's got all the star ranks on it and I put YouTube logos on it for fun and the subscribe logo on the on the uh, tail end of the car. So if you want to have something like this, I'll show you guys how to how you can make whatever you want or you know anything you guys want to do you can pretty much do with this thing. So basically what you got to do is uh, download the files in the description and you're going to open up the Octane template or whichever car template that you want to use. Um, so this is that file, but f before you do any of that stuff, you're going to need to make sure that you have uh, Bacchus Mod. So if you don't have that, you're going to have to download Bacchus Mod, which uh, from this link here, I'll have all these links in the description as well. So you're going to have to download Bacchus Mod. Then after you download Bacchus Mod, you're going to have to install Alpha Console for Bacchus Mod. So you'll hit install with Bacchus Mod after you get this installed. Um, I'll have this custom decal link in the description for you guys to download as well because that's going to contain the folder. Uh, the folder for um, the templates that you're going to need. So Photoshop, it's not required I don't think. It's what I have but I think you can use other things to, to edit this. I haven't done it myself but Photoshop is basically the best one to use because you have all these all these layers on the side here that you can mess with. Um, so you can see it's laid out like uh, the underside, the side panels, the top of the car, the spoiler, the front area around the grill. So basically what you're going to want to do is go in here and edit all these pieces. So for the top, usually where people focus at the top of the sides and then like around the wheels kind of area and the spoiler. Um, obviously that's basically the whole car, but the main big pieces, like the top, so I'll, I'll click on the top layer. And I already set this up a little bit to show you just a brief example. So I got like, this is just for like, to prove that you can do literally anything. So you can go to Google search, type in like anything. So I typed in ocean theme, I found this photo here, I downloaded it to my desktop, I opened it up in Photoshop. And then what I did was, this is how you can create like any pattern you want. So I went to edit, and then I clicked define pattern. And then you go back over to your octane template, and then you click on top. Then you click blending options. And then down here you'll see pattern overlay, so you click the check mark, you'll see a pattern pop up. Then you click pattern overlay again, and then you go over to the pattern and the drop down, and you'll see any patterns that you've defined. So here's the ocean. And there you go. So then you click OK. So the ocean is now going to be displayed on this car. And then I can do the same thing everywhere else. So we're done with the top. And then I can go to the side panels. Uh, here, this is the right side panel, the left side panel. So blending option. Well, actually, you know what I can do? Uh, cancel that. Uh, go back to top. Right, right click top. And then click uh, copy layer style. So it's going to copy the effects and pattern overlay that I have set, so I don't have to redo that every single time. So then you'll right click and then click uh, paste layer style, left side, paste layer style, and then uh, top, let's see, what else did I miss? Uh, this is the front, The fr these are mirrored, so it says mirror, top, front of, top of front tire. Okay, so that's the, the top panel on the front tires. So anything you do to this layer, so this is the this will do it to the same thing to the both both uh, the front panels. This is top of the rear tire, so paste again. So this is what the rear tires are going to look like, over top of the rear tires. So that's all the layers for the top. Then you'll have I did the side panels, the underside stuff. I'm just going to do this to the underside stuff because I'm not sure what it's going to look like. I'm just going to do it and see what it looks like. So we'll we'll just paste this layer style over every part just to see what happens. 
so now that I have everything done that I wanted to do, you can do anything you want. So this isn't like you have to do everything I've done. You can do gradients. You can literally take the paintbrush and just draw on this. You can put text over top of these. You can like go to Google and type in like logos like I did on my other design and put logos on here. If you want to, I could put fish on the car to make it more like oceanic or whatever. But when you're all done with your design, you're going to go to File, Save As. This is a really important part. You're going to save it as a PNG, and then you're going to just name it, uh, you're going to name it, um, Oct underscore diffuse dot PNG. And then you're going to save it into the custom decal folder that you installed off of the file in the description. Then you're going to save it there and press OK. So now that you have that, you can minimize everything. You can open, uh, that's not the folder, open the custom decal folder that you have. See, then you'll see this file. So this is the uh, custom decal. So then you can take this uh, photo that you have. Um, you can go to Bacchus Mod, your injector, file, open Bacchus Mod folder, data, AC plugin, decal textures. So then this is where all of your decals will be saved. So this is for a custom decal right here. Put this in here, replace that file. X, and then go back in here, F2, uh, Alpha Console, Door Decal, and there you have it. You'll see the wacky looking oceanic pattern that I just created. And it works in game in the replays. Uh, I think it works in replays, I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but that's it. That's basically it. So if you guys have any questions, just uh, let me know and uh, I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.